Hey, Fire Signs, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So I'm getting ready to do your How the Other Person Feels About You reading. This is for all the Fire Signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Um, general reading, please remember that. So um, if, <coughs> you know, you can check the description box below if, if this doesn't resonate, if you want to get a reading from me, or just listen to your other signs and you'll be able to get one. Okay, I don't think I'm having audio issues now. I don't know why I was in the last two videos. Uh, actually, I believe I was in the water and earth sign videos. Hopefully this one is going to work. If it doesn't, just turn up your microphone. That might help you. Okay, um, let me just get, okay. Just wanted to turn it up a little bit more. So let me see, what are the energies for the fire signs for how the other person feels? what they're thinking, what your advice is, what you need to know, how they feel, their, what their behavior energies are to you. Okay, We're starting with separation. Give the relationship a chance. Chemistry, worth waiting for. You deserve love, passion, and then the outcome is left over. Okay, so I'm going to do some clarifying for you guys. So what this person may be telling or the energies they may be showing you is a separation card. Time apart from this person, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And so that might have been something that they've said to you or expressed to you that they wanted to split or there was a break or they wanted to take some time off for something or they just up and left. Uh, sometimes that happens. So some of you are dealing with a queen of pentacles or a king of pentacles, which would be the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or some of you have someone who left. If you're female, you may have a male um, who left you for an earth sign. That may have happened to some of you. Some of you may found, have found out that your person left and married someone else or offered or proposed or got engaged to be with another person, which is very heartbreaking. And if that happened, I'm very sorry. Um, I'm not predicting that this is going to happen. If you are not with someone and you don't know about something like this, I feel like this may have occurred already. But I also feel like for some of you, you do have an earth sign that needed some time apart from you in order to realize your worth. Unfortunately, you may have been with someone who was extremely selfish or was taking advantage of you. And um, time apart from them, I do feel like has made them realize how important you truly are in their lives because you're that caretaker you're you're that person that you know spent you know you make sure that the, the all the clothes are watched the bills are paid you organize the the trips you the plans you know you're very reliable very loyal very loving you 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 know you take care of people when they're not well um take care of the children you take care of even if you do have someone that has moved on to someone else, I feel like they're realizing that this was a mistake. That they're seeing that the new one that they're with doesn't even compare to you, can't compare to all that you've done or everything that you have going on. Uh, you were the backbone of everything. And so I feel like they want to give this relationship another chance here. 
they want to work on this. And there may be an offer or something coming back, coming toward you. They want to uh, offer you something, maybe give you some money or offer a ring or try to reconnect with you, show you how much you mean to them. So yeah, I do feel like they're going to try to make it work. With the seven of pentacles in reverse, it really just makes me feel like they're not even going to, they, they have no need to analyze the situation or take stock of it. They're already aware now of what they need to do. They don't need to, they're not in that place. Well, I invested all this and you, I got nothing back. They're not in that place anymore. Now they're like, damn, she invested all or he invested everything and I got nothing. And uh, I gave them nothing. I gave them hardly anything. And I feel like that's what they're taking a look at now. Uh, they're not deciding about what they did and didn't get. Now they know that what they did, what they didn't give was, was not enough. They didn't give enough here. So the seven of cups is really just the message of, you know, they know what they want now. Now they're sure. Now they know. There's no more indecision. There's no more temptation. They're so aware. They they can they've easily made this decision that they want to try and make it work with you again. There is an attraction here between the two of you that is so magnetic. It's not even funny. This King of Cups just fell out in the reverse. This person, you're you could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Oh, and the devil came out as well. Interesting. There's such an attraction here, and they when they think about you, they need they feel like there's such a strong need to be with you, and it's very difficult to remain detached from you because of this because of this energy. The King of Cups, when he's in the reverse, he could be very manipulative and um, overly emotional and completely like sometimes out of control, like can, can sometimes be like such a crazy person and, you know, can sometimes be a cheater. And I feel like they're, they're realizing that they shouldn't have let you go because of their, 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 their ways or the way that they behaved or the way that they acted. They made a huge grave mistake in separating from you or letting you go. And they realize this. This is an attachment here that is very difficult to let go of and how much, how hard they try. Even if they've proposed to someone else, even if they've made their moves with someone else or tried to be with another person or whatever, they're, it's still like, it's just false. That person that they're with is just false. It's not real. I mean, it's, it's real in the sense that it's physically there, but it's not where their heart is at. It's not where they feel they belong. So they're waiting for you. They're, they feel that you're worth waiting for. They're not they're Even if they're, you know, some of them are with someone else, divine timing is going to make it happen. That's how they feel. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. And they know it's meant to be. Even if you were married for 20 years and you're no longer together, they haven't given up. Some of you, you know, I don't know what kind of person you're with. You may be, some of you, I have to say it, some of you could be in a very narcissistic type of a relationship with this person. And, you know, quite honestly, this person is not letting you go. If, if they're not talking to you right now because they're busy talking to someone else, it's only because maybe you're not talking to them or you're, you know, whatever the reason, I don't see them. I, if anything, you're the number one. And I don't feel like they're going to be gone for long, quite honestly. And I mean, if you want that person back, that's up to you. If they leave you to be with someone else, but then you're what kind of, you know, it's like, wait, really? How can, so you're going to deceive that person to be with me? Like it's, it's a very complex situation. Um, but they're, they're definitely undecided and that's why they haven't come forward right now because they don't know what to do. I mean, I feel like they're kind of maybe waiting for you to reach out to them 
or for you to get in contact. They're not making any moves right now. At least these last two weeks. Here's the Knight of Wands, but they they absolutely <laughs> want to. They want to come charging in your direction with this strong, passionate energy. This Some of them are just dying to have sex again with you. Okay, that energy is definitely there. So they're kind of like, you know, they're waiting. They're not making a decision, but at the same time, they're on their horse. And they're like, as soon as they get the call or as soon as they get the signal from you, they're gone. Like they're on their way over. There's no doubt. All they need is just that sign or that signal from you. <laughs> okay, well, here's, here's your advice. You really deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve love, love. So if you're dealing with someone who is just playing with your feelings or this person who's, you know, very attached to you or wants to try again, um, but you're not feeling like it's a healthy, loving relationship, then you need to realize that, you know, you do deserve, you do deserve love. Okay. And you shouldn't change anything drastic about you whatsoever because you're just perfectly lovable and deserving of it as you are. The tower in the reverse, you know, don't make any changes about yourself at all. You don't have to be better for anyone. You don't have to change your, your clothes. You don't have to, you know, lose 20 pounds. You don't have to, um, you know, change your lifestyle. You don't have to become more accomplished in order to please this, maybe this person or anyone else. And I, that's the energy I'm picking up from the tower because the tower, when this card strikes, it's like everything changes and every, like it's, it's almost feeling like if this was in the upright, I could see maybe your advice would be, you know, you thinking, oh, I better, if I, I have to move in order for this person to be with me, like, no, you don't have to do anything because you are already everything. And, and they know it. Even if you're dealing with someone who has this narcissist issue, <laughs> they still know you're number one. But it's really up to you. What do you know about you? What do you deserve? And what do you want? You know, because I do feel like they're going to return. They want to. They're, I mean, like they're ready to. You deserve a happy marriage, a happy, committed, loving relationship. That's your advice, not to change any of your desires or anything that you want just because somebody um, not just because somebody, but you deserve love, not because this person thinks you do. You do because you do because you think you do. So stick with what it is that you want. If this person can't give this to you, if they're off with another person or if they're leaving you right now because they're, you know, for whatever reason they separated from you or they decided they didn't want to talk to you or for whatever the reason is. And then all of a sudden they're realizing your value. Why? Because they miss you. That's great. But you know what? Your value is the same all the time. It doesn't change just because the other person decides they don't want it anymore, right? And the only time they're valuing you is when they're not with you. If you're dealing with someone like that, you don't change anything. You, you keep remembering that you deserve to have this because this is what you want and this is what you, will make you happy. And if they can't give it, then you decide what you need to do about that. But I feel like with them, if it's not, if you're not dealing with someone like that, I just feel like um, they're just realizing at this point, you know, wow, I messed up or, you know, wow, she's really more than I thought to me, you know, or he's really more than I thought. And I need to, you know, I got to, I have to go back. I, we're not meant to be apart. I can't, you know, stand being away from this person. I can't stand being away from you. That's what they're thinking. That's what they're, that's how they're feeling about you. And they're realizing you deserve more than what they've given you. So what you need to know, there is a lot of passion in this in this uh, connection with this person. 
uh, there's a lot of sexual energy. There's a lot of passionate energy. Some you've, you're dealing with a water sign. Some of you're dealing with a Capricorn, some Scorpio, another, um, well, some of you're dealing with an earth sign could be also a young, younger fire sign as well. But the, the passion between the two of you, um, it's definitely there. And it does make you feel when things are good and when you're together, it makes you feel amazing. So good that you could sing. But when they leave, then you're not feeling that way and you're longing and they're longing. So um, you may need to reach out to this person. You know, I, I was saying that before that they're on their horse ready to go. As soon as they, as soon as the gate lifts, they'll be headed your way. You may need to, um, because this is in the position of what you need to know, you may need to, to reach out to them and offer something to them. I mean, because I feel like they want to do the same here. And of course, if you're dealing with someone that has been abusive, I am absolutely not saying you should do that, okay? And so I'll talk about that in a second. But if this is not like that type of situation and you guys are separated for whatever reason, um, I'm seeing both of you wanting to... I'm also seeing too that this person, as I was saying, because of the passion, does want to reach out to you and uh, show you how much they value you. Some of you, and this is your energy, the king of wands, highly respected, authoritative, confident, self-assured. Remember that about yourself. And also, um, this, you're also dealing, as I was saying, this can also be an older fire sign too, who maybe you could be dealing with, you know, like they could be the king of cups reversed where they have that energy in their chart somewhere in their chart um where they behave like that emotionally but on the outside their passion their energy and drive is just very go-getting not as much as the knight of wands unless it's someone who's younger but they come across i do feel like some of you need to know that this is the type of person that you do uh need to be with or there could be someone else coming through for you who makes an offer to you either for a date or to um, pay for something or offer something who is an older fire sign. Okay. Um, so as far as like someone that has this narc issue going on, um, you may need to just accept this offer instead. If this person tries to come back, keep your eyes open for a Leo Sagittarius or an Aries older, at least within those last couple of weeks. Keep your eyes open to this because I feel like, you know, this person is real, is the real deal and has something good and true. Altruistic is their energy and has something good to offer to you. Your outcome, free yourself. I feel like the last air signs got this. They did. Free yourself. It's time to take back. Can't read because I took my glasses off. Control of your life. So you may need to free yourself from this person um, or just free yourself from, you know, any expectations or drama. You know, if this person, you know, if they've realized that now that they're not with you, they begin to see your value. Free yourself from uh, any need for approval. So it sits right under here. Any need for approval. Free yourself from negative thinking or thinking that you need to change something in order to be loved. Stick with what it is that you want and what it is that you need. Some of you I'm talking to Aries, especially. But stay on your throne, male or female. Some of you, this, as I was saying, free yourself to let this Aries in. Okay. 
Um, because the, whoever this person is, whether this is your energy or the other person coming in, this is in the outcome position. So either way, it's good. If it's you, it's you staying stable, freeing yourself so you can have that stability and maintain that sense of stability or this and or this is an Aries male, if you're female coming in for you, who will give you that, who will bring you that because you may not get that from this person because I feel like they're like in and out. They separated. Now they realize their value. Then they come back to you. And then all of a sudden your value, your, your worth decreases and then they leave and then they miss you and your value goes back up. It's like, what is this an economical game or something? So you start, you know, you're not a, you're not a toy on a shelf that's, you know, in high demand, only peak periods of the holidays. And then it's off the shelf until next year when everybody's trying to get it all year. No, you're a human being with emotions and feelings. So, you know, yeah, I feel like you're going to get, if you're feeling like you, you've been in some kind of like situation where you were feeling trapped or, you know, disturbed or like a self-imposed prisoner, you were feeling like your self-esteem was like in the gutter because of a certain relationship or a situation. I feel like you're going to come out of that now. It could have something to do with, you know, you getting your stability back or this person reminding you of who you are and telling you there's nothing wrong with you. You're not unstable. It's this other person. It's this, this lunatic right here. <laughs> anyway, let's do, I want to pull your messages for your life messages to see what your life guidance messages would be. So what do we have for life guidance messages for the fire signs for the end of July, 2018 life guidance messages for fire signs at the end of July, 2018 Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Leo Sagittarius Aries life messages. Fertility. Hello. Are we trying to have babies? <laughs> this is growth. So don't, you know, this could be anything. All right, let me have a look in my cute little book. Oh, this is the name of the those cards, Ascended Masters. And I forgot to tell everybody the holographics, you got to get them from China. Google it. I don't understand Chinese or Mandarin, whatever it is. So I can't tell you what the name of the cards are. That's, this is all that it says. So you have to, you'll have to Google it. Holographic uh, tarot cards. Best I can, all I can tell you. And so just so you know, the book is also written in, um, am I holding this up right? Yeah. The book is also written in Mandarin. So, you, you know, you're not going to be able to read it if you don't read that. Okay. All right. Let's see. What does fertility have to say? Some of this may resonate for some of you. The card signifies a very fertile time for you. It's an ideal time for the conception of a baby or new projects. All of the doors are open for you right now. Your mind is fertile with many wonderful new ideas and abundance easily flows to you. Since everything is in its infancy stage, have patience with the growth process. Just nurture yourself and your projects so that you stay strong and fertile. The additional meanings for this card you have the Midas touch and everything is turning to gold right now. There is good news about pregnancy or adoption. Let go of worries or guilt and enjoy yourself. Now is a good time to start something new. Okay. I like it. So that's really your guidance and advice for, you know, what you need to do for the next two weeks to focus on that. Okay. And, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I'm going to end it now. So I will see you guys in August. Okay. Take care. Bye.